you see uh, cartoon of uh, amniotic amniotic cavity uh, exactly opposite of amniotic is amniotic so we need to hunt for embryo and i think the embryo probably uh, here and that is noted by dark spot which is head the eye of the embryo and uh, the amniotic is one of the then then opposite of this is amniotic cavity have this uh, amniotic cavity amniotic and then keep so when we actually inoculate we will show you how you can do it इनॉक्युलेटिंग चंदीपुरा वायरस I'll not show you all because uh, not necessary. We keep practicing, and tomorrow hopefully we will see their embryo. Okay, so I'll be doing it uh, that side. So I'll inoculate a lantric cavity with Chandipura virus, and then tomorrow we'll see the uh, okay. embryo. So okay, so we have uh, now marked all the cavities. And then, what can we do? What can we do? Okay, so first is. Uh, we need to surface sterilize with the with the 70% alcohol then as i said uh, type of needle is very important so these are tuberculin syringes i think this is of no use uh, so we use uh, we need to use little longer needles and the fixation is very good so bicha अरे कैसे कर लांबू चंद लगते हैं? वन इंच वन इंच वन इंच दिस आर वन हाफ इंच या दिस आर वन इंच सो दिस आर वन इंच एंड दिस इज वन एंड हाफ वन एंड हाफ इज यूज्ड फॉर एनियोटिक इनोक्युलेशन एंड योक सैक बिकॉज़ यू नीड टू रीच टू द कैविटी एंड योक सैक इज लिटिल डीपर सो यू नीड टू जस्ट गो स्ट्रेट एंड इनोक्युलेट सो वी विल बी डूइंग फर्स्ट एनियोटिक एलेंट्राइड ग्रुप Which is uh, easiest to do. And so first, uh, first step is this also should be sterile. Some people use needles to, you know, uh, pierce hole. That's also possible. So you need to keep dedicated needle for making hole. And so for allantoic, you you have marked this. Here it's amniotic. Opposite is allantoic. So uh, we just make a hole which is close to the cavity. You don't. Pierce this completely, otherwise this this will pass through the yes. cavity. And then we take uh, 0.2 ml of inoculum. This is diluted methylene blue. Okay. Okay. When there is bubble, then we need to remove. Uh, otherwise, while handling, you see that bubble, you know, hanging on. Uh, Not do because I want uh, not let this bubble. So it's very simple. You just go and you just go half halfway through, and then you deposit in our blood. So I won't be pushing this air bubble. It's just done. So uh, then you again surface sterilize because if you are inoculating virus, left over will be there on the outside, and then using that fecal. We just push a small drop, and the sealing is done using a very small amount of paper. It gets hardened when you inoculate, and then you can use uh, cello tape for this. Some people, I think, used to use some. Uh, many people have been using many different agents, but I think this is latest, which is uh, which is very good. So we we cut open this and find out 
where we have inoculated virus. Diksha, the pretty is good. For this, we need uh, curved scissors in the So, why do we need curved? Is because when you cut open, then uh, otherwise you go inside. So, that, that can cause spillage of fluids. So, we need uh, forceps. Cut it open, and we need, we need to start from where you started because that's your starting point. You get a hold here. And just uh, rotate here. I'll, I'll explain you whatever parts. I mean, all. Uh, this is a shell, and there is a dead membrane which is shell membrane. You can see this. Mm -hmm. The shell membrane. See this fluid which is coming. Uh, it has got dye, so that uh, we inoculate it in the right place. And this is a lentoid. So if you inoculate virus, then this is a source of your uh, virus. Uh, very recently, I mean, just two months or one month back, we uh, we published another paper in which we inactivated avian influenza viruses in in egg fluid, because as we know, I mean, for example, we send antigen to FMC. And uh, we cannot send live influenza virus. So we have developed a method using BPL, formalin, and ethyl to very quickly inoculate. And you confirm using egg. And we use this fluid actually, like uh, egg and egg fluid. So, uh, I will never do this because this uh, generates lots of aerosols. So even while harvesting, what we do is, we don't harvest with this. Nowadays, we have micro pipettes. So you, you suck take the fluid and when you push in the tube then remove this and then inoculate because then take it out because otherwise you know, this will generate lots of aerosols. As you know, influenza spreads by aerosols. Okay. Not here. Aerosols. So now we take this out and see. So this this whole thing is allantoid fluid and you see this embryo sac is coming. So when when we inoculate in in embryo sac uh, or I would say when we do amniotic, then this fluid uh, should be colored so that you are in the right cavity and then you have yolk sac. So this much is close to 8 ml and uh, you can see still there is a uh, cavity intact and we can harvest this fluid. So how, egg, how amniotic fluid is harvested? Can you again uh, once uh, tell the parts? Okay, so this is this is yolk sac, this is amniotic cavity. The fluid which has come out is uh, allantoic fluid, and now we'll harvest amniotic fluid. So I just need to. So this is like amnio. Um, uh, so this is a clear fluid, which is amniotic fluid, and this can be a source of uh, virus when you inoculate in amniotic cavity. By the way, whatever cavity you choose, you may get virus from all cavities because. Virus doesn't multiply in, in fluids. It multiplies in all the membranes, and it is disseminated in those fluids. Okay. So now, last thing, which we take it out. So this this thick is albumin. Okay. This is a uh, proteinaceous part. And then now, slowly, you can see here, all of you, that this the corollantic membrane is coming out. Okay. So now this this is which one side membrane? So this side, sir, please. So this is a membrane which has come out, and this is a corallantic membrane. Okay. okay, this one. So you just cut it open. This this whole membrane. You cut it open, and you can use this as a source of uh, virus antigen. Okay. So this explains the whole thing. Now you see here there is nothing. So this is practically a dead shell which was uh, just protecting the embryo. 
So once this is done, then uh, we discard this. We can try other routes. For example, amniotic. For amniotic, you need to have. And then the aptuous uh, side will be uh, on the top. top. Because over here, the air sac mm -hmm. is. We'll examine it. Then, first of all, we need oh sorry 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 my burner later I will not do it in oh, so, so <laughs> the burner we need the burner well so first of all we clear the zone where we work this is familiar this is the alcohol And iodine solution and in real laboratory they not only uh, otherwise it will be contaminated with the microbes from the surface in real laboratory they just take the flame and burn it take the disinfectant so like this So when it is now cleaned, I may do the with a sterile equip, sterile, everything is sterile. Mm -hmm. I may do a whole book. Very, very small hole inside of which inside of which I may put a little bit more. Inside of which I may put the uh, syringe. Yes, uh, I will not sterile. open it. All oh, sterile, <laughs> sterile prepared. <laughs> Very thick one. I need to open it more. Uh -huh. This one. Mm -hmm. well, the virus containing material. <laughs> and it is just put inside on chorion allantoid membrane like this. This is disinfected like this. We'll open it. This is then it is covered with a paraffin or parafilm. It is uh, just melted on the flame and mm -hmm. I may put over here, mm -hmm. then it is put into incubator for a necessary period. I'll open it, I'll not do it mm -hmm. really, so I'll close now, because we are not really working with it, Pretty and easy. I'll just <laughs> yes. Yes. I want just to show you what is inside, so you know how inoculation occurs, mm -hmm. in different positions maybe. I'll open it now. In such a way. <laughs> mm. You see, over here is the place where I performed the inoculation on chorio allantoic membrane. Yes. So I open it now widely, as it is never done really in reality, to show you all the components inside. So. You see this membrane? I'll take it a little bit. Oops. Over here is it. Membrane. Do you see? Yes. The membrane. Yes. Here is it. Membrane. Mm -hmm. Then I'll open it now, this membrane. And inside, and inside you may see the vessels, vessels, blood vessels, yeah. Yeah. blood vessels, and the yolk sac, yolk sac yeah. and this fluid, this is allantoic fluid, allantoic fluid. Now, I'll put it over here, and first of all, you will pay attention to the cavities. You see the membrane, the membrane, this is yolk sac. Oh, yeah. okay. 
Oh, no, baby. Oh, we oh, hear the embryotic MNP, cavity MNP. and oh, the body oh, inside with a very, very large, you eye. see, eye. eyes. Eyes. It's uh -huh. eyes. No, yeah. eyes. Eyes. Yes. Eyes. Eyes. I'll put it in such a way in order not to break oh. the, the cavity. Uh -huh. yeah. I think that's the oh. 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 oh, my God. Papa. Oh, Papa. Thank you, love. So, now you may see, you may observe all the cavities that we mentioned, the blood vessels and the body of the embryo. Over here, it is now uh, in the cavity, it is not destroyed. You may say, Ellen Toic is destroyed, that's why the fluid is now in the petri dish. Over here, the yolk cells. Is it moving? Is it moving? Is it alive? I think the leg just now. It's alive. It's also alive.